What's the deal? It's your boy Jason Mike, Mr. Athletic over everything. Today, I have a question for you. If you are in position to be sponsored by a company uh, that is willing to pay you $250 a month, give you all of the equipment that they sell, they sell wrist wraps, belts, hats, shirts, pants, um, everything, right? They'll pay your pay for your flights, pay your membership dues. Uh, if you do well in competition, they'll give you bonuses. But the catch is the product isn't very good, right? The knee sleeves are soft. They give you absolutely nothing in these knee sleeves when you squat. The wrist wraps are bad, uh, but they make nice shirts. Uh, the singlet is not, it's neutral. It doesn't help you um, like the Titan singlet. The belt is good. It's not bad. It's a good belt. But there are certain products out there that give you an extra bonus. But none of the stuff that is in the sponsorship that you're about to sign is going to help your, your platform total. What do you do now on instagram i actually put up a poll and it was it was like almost 300 people participated in the poll the poll was split down the middle damn near i think it was a difference of two votes um most of the people said that they would take the sponsorship even though they know this sponsorship is going to hold back your total on the platform now, I think a lot of people who said that were mostly people who weren't quite there yet. You know, they're like entry getting into the sport. Yeah, that sounds good. Because when you first come into powerlifting, having a sponsorship sounds great. Come into your house or your gym or your job and they've just delivered your latest package for this company or that company. It gives you a sense of pride, a little sense of motivation. And um, that feeling is something that can't really be uh, duplicated. You know what I'm saying? It feels good when you have a company that uh, supports you and, and cares about what you think on the platform. But in the game of powerlifting, we're separated by numbers. And I believe that at a certain point or a certain level, athletes, ha excuse me, athletes have to do what's best for their total, not best for them best for their total and the reason why i put it like that is because at the end of the day you get judged by your numbers if you were x y and z five years ago yeah that's cool but what have you done lately and what happened is is that once you're not performing to the highest level or keeping track with everybody else they'll start devaluing your contribution as well as your worth so at the time that you have the most leverage, you have to stick it to these companies. That even goes for a small company like myself, AOE, if I ever decide to sponsor athletes. If I'm getting one of the best lifters in the world, I'm gonna have to pay best lifter of the world prices. You know what I'm saying? If not, you're wasting your time. You know what I'm saying? At least make sure that you're getting the best. But part of this is what I'm getting at. I took a sponsorship years ago that I knew was gonna hurt my total, right? But I, I was promised that I was gonna have a signature line of wrist wraps. I was gonna have like a lot of input in what was going on. They were gonna help out with some of the things I wanted to do in the community. I got opportunities to travel abroad and they were gonna help support, give out products and stuff like that, in which they did. They did all of those things. But the moment, uh, their, their focus and their market change or their demographic change, they started talking to me crazy, not doing the things they said they were gonna do. And it basically ended the, the relationship. And what happened is I'm now out on the open market, damaged goods. Hey, why did you leave that company? What happened? What went on? Oh man, damn, what happened to your total? You just totaled almost 2,100 and now you're, 19 what what happened here what's going on there oh you're 43 years old now you're 42 years old now ah this isn't as attractive so instead of me being someone who at one point could pick whatever company i wanted to go to i can go to those companies now but now they're trying to give me uh mascot positions it's like uh hey you're gonna make you an ambassador or we'll sponsor you but we're not gonna pay you 
uh, we'll we'll sponsor you for full power and equipped, but we're not going to pay you. Oh no, you can't use one company's raw equipment and then use our equipped. They all those things got cut out because I lost my legs. I lost my leverage. Um, and what I would recommend is that at the end of the day, if you do this long enough, you have plenty of wrist wraps. You have plenty of singlets. You have plenty of belts. You have a plethora of everything. Get the products that are going to help you best with your total and then leverage your placing and your finishes to start your own brand. Um, some people aren't that type of individual where they can make their own clothes and, and try to sell something, but this sport does nothing but take from your body. And while you're here, you should take advantage of whatever situations come your way. You know what I'm saying? I started my clothing company and to be honest with you, my clothing company has created issues because now some people that I'm sponsored by are using or that I was supposed to be sponsored by have used the fact that I have a clothing company against me. But they don't do it against they don't do it against other people. They do it against me because they think I'm going the hardest for what I'm doing. So now I'm at a point where I much rather just get the best products possible. Right. Um, I think at this point in time, you know, uh, let's say for singlets, uh, Titan makes the best singlet. I'm not sponsored by Titan, but I'm going to wear the Titan singlet on the platform in a couple of days. Uh, what else? Knee sleeves. Uh, Enzer has a new pair of knee sleeves that are absolutely ridiculous. If you're a person who squats raw and completion sleeves, you probably should get these. They'll probably add 50 pounds to your squat. I'm not sponsored by these people, but that's something that I would wear when I get back to uh, squatting again. Um, belts, you know, it's the same thing. Find a company that has something that that will help you. Um, SPD makes the best belt. As of right now, there's another company that's supposed to be making a belt, and they're telling me that their belt is supposed to be better. It's coming very soon. But <clears throat> I'll be wearing the SPD belt. Um, and also, I believe I've been training in wrist wraps that are not sanctioned. So I may have to wear SPD wrist wraps. I am not sponsored by them. So at this point in time, I turned down a sponsorship where I could have been completely sponsored, but they didn't make the products that were going to help support what I needed to do. So uh, I say all this stuff to say, make sure that whatever company you go to or sign to, they are going to help you build an infrastructure so that you can carry on business because at some point you're not going to be the hot young junior you're not going to be the little guy that everybody likes watching your instagram videos you want to set yourself up for long-term success i'm kind of glad that i was forced into starting a clothing company it's it's taught me a lot about sponsorship it's taught me a lot about business and i can now use my clothing company to pay for my powerlifting career and that way it doesn't matter if i'm sponsored or not now i do have a few sponsors i have noble vice performance who supply my competition rack i have lockjaw collars who makes the best gym collars in the game i have uh what we else we got uh t taz is a tea company that makes all kind of different teas and i'm looking to have my own um blend as well with them so you have a company like mark pro you know who make some of the best uh rehab devices on the planet you know they reached out and um hooked me up with one of these i'm not really sponsored by them but you know they did you know hook me up with a machine but all that is based on the things that i'm able to do if you get better on the platform more things are going to open up to you so just keep that in mind um, this will be a video series where I will go more in depth into some of my sponsorship horror stories, ups and downs, and maybe even some su suggestions for some of you guys coming up. I hope this video was uh, informational, and uh, see you guys next time. Later.